So this was primarily where our studio space was for the longest time, our gallery. And so what we've done since we've opened up the upstairs spaces, we've kind of turned this into more of a showroom and functional workspace. So as we have, we have a lot of our glass work set up here, but we've moved a lot of the 2D work and the things that aren't produced in the house upstairs. So we have like, when you walk in the front door, we have some of the work that we've produced here, including like our tie-dye pictures. We also feature some work by other glass artists. So for example, Muddy the Mud Hen. Hey, Mud. So uh, uh, this was actually made by uh, glass artist Danny White, and we've had a really good relationship with him. So we have a lot of different items that are all produced here in our galleries, or in our studio rather. So we have things like our Windy series, which are more like transparent kind of bowls. So we did put a bar in a few years ago. That's awesome. So we specialize in a lot of like functional items, like I said. So for example, this is like a decanter that we have. Mm -hmm. So it's a red wine decanter. Oh, wow. That rotates. That's right. And the whole, purpose, the whole purpose of that is that it keeps decanting the wine when it's sitting on the table. Because if there's fluid in there, it's gonna keep rocking back and forth. So we do a lot of functional items, but they're always meant to be these kind of fun kind of things. Like we have our decanters too. We do like a decanter that's cut at 60 degrees because the whole point is you're supposed to drink whiskey at 60 degrees. All right, I need to start jotting this down for the weekend when I, you know, have a quick little drink. This area right here was actually where my printing shop was. <laughs> so, uh, so what we started doing was we wanted to do featured art exhibitions with local artists, local and regional artists. Yeah, anytime the exhibition isn't up in here, we're going to uh, be reaching out to community artists and showing like, doing like a small community gallery space. And then when we have solo exhibitions, we'll put the solo exhibitions up in here. And then the other big space that we have is gonna be, well, I shouldn't say it's going to be, it is. <laughs> it's actively done. Uh, the space that we have here, which is kind of like our B gallery, is for curated exhibitions, large group shows, and things like that. To be, this was all studio spaces for the first seven and a half years the gallery was open. And um, what we ended up doing was we ended up clearing about 10 tons of rubble. Like we demoed all the walls. We still have the, uh, <laughs> we still have the lines in the floor right now. But yeah, so we demoed about 10 tons of material out of here and wanted to have this be, like I said, a a community gallery space. Well, I love it. I love the way you guys incorporate the past with the present and repurpose items and it's it's really cool. This is a great space. So we do want to encourage people to come into this space. Um, again, we are doing everything we can to keep people safe. You know, we're trying to respect social distancing. Uh, we do have a mask requirement. Like I'm the only one in the space right now, so without a mask, but uh, we bring people in, we are all wearing masks, we are all trying to you know, keep social distance, keep everyone safe in the gallery. But so much of this work is, it's available online. All the artwork is available online. And you can see it all online, but a lot of this work, there's a surface, a texture, there's a material quality to these kinds of things that just seeing something online can't compete with. So 
even if we aren't doing these big openings where we'll have 100 people down here and we'll be blowing glass downstairs and the print shops will be roaring and doing all kinds of work. Even though we can't do that right now, we are still encouraging people to come down, check the work out, and view the space because artwork needs to be seen in person. It needs to be experienced in person, um, especially the kind of work that we specialize in here. So I think that's really important to emphasize. Great, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Ian. Absolutely, have a good day.